Okay, so here's another um, way that they are tampering with all of our phones and all of our computers. It's called Pegasus Spyware. It was developed by Israel Cyber Arms Company. Okay, this is uh, Israel is part of all of our um, all of these hacks going on. All, Israel is part of all of these uh, hacks that we have going on here. It, these are cyber attacks. I believe this company is involved. Pegasus Software, uh, spyware developed by Israeli cyber arms company NSO Group that is designed to be covertly and remotely installed on mobile phones running iOS and Android. Okay, um, while well, NSO Group markets Pegasus as a product for fighting crime and terrorism, governments around the world has re have routinely used the spyware to surveil journalists. Oh yeah, well, okay, really, is that legal? Law, lawyers, political dissidents, and human rights activists, in other words, whistleblowers like me, have Pegasus spyware on our phones. Okay, so this is uh, probably who's doing this to me right now. Um, I constantly have my phone and my computer um, under surveillance illegally. So it's it has to do with Israel. Um, and they i'm sure were a part of all the hacks that just happened to us okay um let's see trying to bring this down here what else does it say okay pegasus operators were able to remotely install the spyware on ios versions through 16.0 using zero click exploit while the capability is pegasus may vary over time due to software updates. Pegasus is generally capable of reading text messages, call snooping, collecting passwords, location tracking, accessing the target's devices, uh, microphone and camera, and harvesting information from all of your apps. Spyware is named after Pegasus, the winged horse of Greek mythology. Cyber uh, Watchdog um, Citizen Lab, Lookout Security published the first public technical analysis of Pegasus in August 2016 after they captured the spyware in a failed attempt to spy on the iPhone of a human rights activist. Okay, they're, you know, human rights activists are basically like whistleblowers. You know, they're, they're targeting the whistleblowers like me, clearly. I, I've had my, I have my phone and I have them, you know, they might be a part of pinging my calls to different cell phone towers, you know, different things like that as well. Half the time my phone doesn't work. I don't know why I bother paying my, you know, I pay like a hundred dollars, you know, a month for my phone, my iPhone, uh, which is supposed to work. Why, you know, so is Verizon know about this? You know, I mean, seriously, why would I bother paying for my phone with half the time you're allowing my phone to be hacked? I think Verizon needs to be in trouble for that. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. Okay, so the company states that it provides authorized governments with technology that helps them combat terror and crime. Oh, wow. Well, but what if the terrorists are our own, are our own government? That's the problem, right? Because that's what's happening here. Um... An NSO group has published sections of contracts which require customers to use its products only for criminal and national security investigations and has stated that it has an industry-leading approach to human rights. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to just bring it down here. Okay. Uh, Spyware can be installed on devices running certain versions of iOS, Apple's mobile operating system, as well as some Android devices. Rather than be a specific exploit, Pegasus is a suite of exploits that uses many vulnerabilities in the system. Okay. Okay. So there we go. This is where a lot of the hacking is coming from, this Pegasus software. So they can hack into iPhones and Android devices.
okay so and they can um, listen to you and hack your mobile device and uh, various different things so I I um, removed my app from my phone uh, but somehow they were able to hack me um, again into my bank they just hacked into my bank today so I'll do a video about that